Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albanorano Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. I'm going to just drop this back just a slight bit. There we go. Just a slight, slight bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay, today's beer is from right here in Regina, Saskatchewan. It is Pile of Bones Brewing Company's Red Ale. Now, we've talked about the Red Ale slightly when uh, Christopher asked me about Irish Reds. Talking about... Look at that, the original Scottish beers. Innocent. I went in and bought an Innocent Gun Glass. Well, not an Innocent Gun Glass, but I went in and bought the... Uh, I went in and bought the mix pack from Christmas. And I may or may not have made a business deal while I did it. Which we may or may not talk about. There's there's a few different things I want to talk about business-esque wise. Uh, we've already talked about how disheartening finding a job has been for the blind man. But there's some other stuff to talk about, too, that may or may not be on the horizon. That is a beautiful beer. Uh, it's exactly what it should look like. I mean, I won't take that away. Uh, beautiful amber color. Almost, almost to the ruby-esque haze. Mocha head. Nice snap crackle pop on that. Uh, this glass should come close to holding it all once the head dissipates because we're at uh, right like almost at the two thirds of a pint mark, and this can is well a pint can, well slightly under a pint right four seventy threes. But uh, sent from the can first, shall we? And here's where I went off on this beer. Is very floral. Floral, earthy, and caramel notes. So, when you say a red ale to me, and I've talked about this before, if you, if you give me a beer that just says red ale, I'm expecting an Irish red. So when I don't get an Irish red, I turn into an Irish red, if you get my drift. Uh, because it's what I expect. It's what I'm hoping for. It's what I want when I buy a red ale. I don't want the American reds or anything like that. And I've had a few just red ales that have come out to be, well, claiming to be Irish reds, but do not seem like it. Now at 5% alcohol, the ABV is right for an Irish red. The smell out of the can, really not right for an Irish red. Out of the glass, it smells basically the exact same as out of the can, albeit a little less floral. Cheers. And this is why I wanted the Innocent Gun glass, because I love it. I love the look of these glasses. I always have. I love the amount of beer they can hold. If it wasn't for that head, we would have everything in here. But I love the head retention on this beer. I mean, this is a very, very good looking beer, even if... It's disappointing on the scent, and I have tried this, but we're going to try it again. Cheers. And I do believe when I tried this, and Chris was asking about Irish Reds, I believe I was drinking it right from the can, and I do believe if I remember correctly, that it was just picked up that day. So it came from their cooler, so it was a little colder. And it wasn't nearly as hoppy as it is right now. So I still lost my mind on it because it wasn't an Irish red. But I was like, you know what, this is a really good beer. It's a little more hoppy than I'd like at this point. And I get it. You basically have two trains of thought, right? You have the hoppier the better, and the less hoppy the better. Those are really your two trains of thought on most styles of beer. 
The only style of beer that doesn't, well, the only two styles I can think of that people haven't really tried to hop out the wazoo is like stouts and porters, but it's not that, it's not that it's overly hoppy, but it kind of reminds me of like a red IPA and an American red IPA at that. It's, it's that resiny, just bitter hoppiness at the back end, that like pine needle, floral, dirty, resiny bitterness that sits right at the back of the tongue. When it was cooler, when it was cooler, more of the floral came out. Now that it's warmer, there's more of that piney earthiness coming out. I actually kind of liked it better cooler. Uh, you still get the same malt bill, which is a nice caramel, a nice, uh, a nice cherry nibs, which is proper for a red ale. But that hoppiness is just more than I would want. <sighs> it's not a bad beer. It's really not a bad beer. It's just... It's a beer, right? It's it's hoppier than I want it to be, and that's that's my one dilemma on it. That being said, is it a bad beer? No. Is it a bad red ale? If you're going to say it's an Irish red, it's a bad Irish red. If you're going to say it's an American red, it's perfectly acceptable. If you're going to ask if I really enjoy it, not, not really, but that's fine, not... Every beer is going to be in my wheelhouse. Not every beer is going to be up my alley. Not every beer is going to be what I want. I just, I just want to review a beer and have my kids not do things. That's it. And this is the thing, right? Uh, I try to spend some time with my wife, but we both work opposite shifts now. And uh, the kids stay up late. So I don't have time unless I sneak away for like 45 minutes and do a few reviews and then rejoin the family. But when I sneak away, all I hear is... Rah, 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 rah. And running and... Like, it's, it's, it's insanity. It's insane. I'm giving you a 6 out of 10, bye.